Hi, this is Bob Pellerin, CTO Bob, and today I'll be talking to you about SSD drives, more specifically what you should be using in a NAS, or if you have, for example, a home-based lab where you want to put some in servers, or if you've got a really low-budget uh, server, uh, you might be tempted to grab SSDs, any brand, any kind, shove them in, and I'm going to discuss that with you today. So first of all, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you enjoy these videos in general, you want to encourage us, please consider subscribing. So uh, the traditional SSDs are made for consumer grade products such as laptops or desktops. If you want to go and use something in a server or a NAS, you really want something that's higher performance, that has better durability, and that's specifically built for a NAS environment. Uh, the ones that I use, the ones that I recommend, are the uh, Seagates right now. Those are the uh, my go-tos. And just so you understand, they go all the way up to uh, 3.84 terabytes. And I've got a 1.9 here. And let me show you what the drives look like. And the reason you care about this is on the market, you'll find and make sure that you understand what your enclosure can take. I mean, there's not much in here except uh, some documentation. Uh, these drives, if you're using the Iron Wolf Pros, by the way, which is what I recommend right now, uh, they come with a rescue uh, as part of the warranty. If anything breaks, you can send to them and they will get the data back out and send you the data. So uh, these drives are packaged in a static bag. So these are great to keep in case you ever need to transport or ship the drives. It's good to have. And of course they are actually nicely relogoed for the newer versions. And these will give you a decent speed. They're uh, 560 uh, megabytes per second, and that's for read and for write is 530. Now, apart from that, uh, the, the major thing is these are hot swaps, meaning that you can, while the unit is powered on, you can push them in, you can take them out. Of course, generally when you take them out, it's because they're defective or something's happened. I've never seen one of these um, fail However, I mean, that is certainly a possibility out there for any brand, any model, any drive. One of the things I wanted to mention is you'll notice that some drives are thicker than others. So you have to make sure that your enclosure has the ability to hold whatever drive you select. So these happen to be thinner than the other one I'm showing here. Of course, when you do purchase uh, from well-known brands of servers, for example, they will have their own branded drives. For example, here's a Dell uh, SSD drive. And these are traditionally not made by Dell. They're probably made by the Seagates, by the Western Digital, by the, there, there's a few brands, Toshiba. Um, so one of them will be OEMing them for the manufacturer. And the traditional advantage of using the branded SSD drives to go inside of your model is that they have additional monitoring capability. In the case of the Iron Wolf, if you're going for a QNAP, uh, you'll see there's actually special health indicators. They can read directly uh, the Seagates and will show you a health, uh, you know, percentages of uh, usage and so forth. The other thing I want to mention is the durability. These uh, will last longer. In case of the 3.8, we're talking about 7,000 uh, TBW, so uh, total uh, uh, terabytes written. So if you were going to put these inside of a server, the only thing is when you get a server with the drives, of course, it comes with the little caddies, is what they're known as, or brackets if you prefer. And so what you'll end up having to do if you do want to uh, add them, you're going to need an aftermarket caddy, and it's simply a matter of putting them in, putting screws, and inserting them into your device. So I hope this was useful to you. I got some questions about what to use and how to use them, and are they all the same? So I thought that would be helpful for you today. So thanks for watching. I'm Bob Pellerin, and see you in the next video.